Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the first ep um, first few matches of the season. I've actually played a few already um, so let me see if I can find my mouse. I've deliberately lost it. Where is it? There we go. Um, yeah, so we take, we're going to take a look at the transfers and everything, all the prep that we did for the season. We're also going to take a look at the first few matches that we did and play a couple of matches, hopefully, or at least just one. Um, so starting off with, just with the news that obviously we have arrived now at the Skybeck League 2. Um, brand new in this league and we're probably going to aim for this sort of position here. Uh, above the, the relegation. I think it should be achievable that we uh, don't get relegated this season, even though we are favourites to be relegated, but um, it should be achievable to stay up. Um, right, let's take a look at the transfers. I think we're going to do this in the squad. Now, we were promoted, uh, so that meant that a few of the players that were struggling with um, you know, they were kind of uh, wanting to leave. Uh, they've changed their minds a little bit. There's still a few that want to leave. I think uh, Adam O'Reil still wants to leave and Josh still want to leave. But the others that we had issues with, that's all been resolved. I've also been able to save some money in the transfer budget. And that meant that I could offer um, the high bonus for the league and cups. But yeah, so but we did get a few new players in, so let's take a look. Um, right, so at goalkeeper, uh, sorry, at the goalkeeper position, we had made no changes. We still have Kami and Luke. Uh, the only difference is that Luke is probably going to take the lead this season. Um, in the right defense, um, right of the defense, I'm kind of mumbling through my words there. Sorry. Uh, in the right of the defense, we have just one new player, Nigel Jones. He's a loney. Uh, he's probably going to be sort of in the background, at least to start with, and then we'll see how he does for the rest of the season. Uh, Nigel, jo Nigel Jones, Jose wants to leave, so we might get a new player for this position in January. Uh, in the left of the defense, we had no changes. The center, we have two new players. We have Morgan Dance. Uh, he's a new defensive role, um, center, center defender. And he's come on loan from Hartlepool. And the other new player is Sam Shearing. Should be down here somewhere. There we go. Sam Shearing. He's also come. I oh know he's actually per a permanent contract. He's come from Wigan on a free transfer. For the halfback position, we've made no changes. In centre back, we have made no changes. Uh, either but we did go and get Johnny Brown again on loan so he's with us now for the fourth season in uh, in a row does that all count as one season? No, we saw uh, three seasons in a row but four seasons overall um, the right of attack has no changes the left of attack has one change we went and got um, very very basic backup uh, target man for the left He's extremely basic. We're going to have to improve on this in January, but that's kind of the best I could do at the time. And in attack, we went and got Phil Pope again. He was with us for a brief, um, very, very brief period last season. I never, th I, I don't think I ever introduced him because I cancelled the loan um, straight away, essentially. Uh, but he's back with us this season. He's doing a bit better. So that's the new, um, all of the new transfers. 65k spent in total. We managed to offload uh, one of our players, Jordan uh, Newell, from our youth, and we're hoping to get back some clauses as well. We had another youth team, um, a kind of junior team a player poached, so that should come up in our clauses within the next couple of seasons. And we have three players, three other players that have been poached, still with clauses going on. And Kieran Tablet, we still have one clause, it's uh, outstanding, but it's not a very high value clause, so um, it won't really b benefit us in, in any way, I don't think. Right, let's take a look at the league, and first of all, the season preview. We are favourites to be relegated. So far, we've been able to stay 
um, sort of in the mid table position. Um, so, so, so that's all good. In the, me in the meantime, we had other needs as well for our youth. We have indeed been promoted to the next league up. And we are six matches in and winning. So even though we've just been promoted to this league, we have managed the first position for this league. Which is very, very good, I think. Uh, strong squads. How's staff doing? How do I look at staff? So not the best staff for their league, but not the worst either. So that's good. Finance-wise, we're surviving. Um, I don't think anything new has popped up in terms of anything that we've been granted. But I'm going to continue to ask for an affiliate club. Eventually, they're going to give it to me. I just need to keep pressing them to do so. Uh, what else? Might want to... Ask them for an improved recruitment network. Um, they're not going to give me an expanded scouting range, but I might as well just ask. Right, that's it. No other changes. We haven't made many squad changes either, so the um, dynamics have remained quite good. And I think that's it. Okay, now let's jump into a match I've already pre-selected. Uh, the players that are going to play, and also the style. We haven't changed style at all, still the same tactics as last time. Um, the only thing that I change sometimes is the mentality, depending on who we're playing, etc. But yeah, um, I've had to give a couple of rests to Sam. Sam is resting. Uh, and we've had no backup for Sam because Leonard is injured. So I've had to play both Will and Dance. Uh, they usually so Dance is usually the backup for Will, but um, I've had to play him anyway. Anyone else resting? Obviously. Um, I think everything else is pretty much fluid at the moment. No one's got really setting stone positions, other than maybe those two ba two defenders, the goalkeeper. Uh, this guy's playing a lot better than last season, so I'm giving him more time, Adam. Um, and obviously, Isapo Song has got pretty much a permanent spot now. And also Nolan, just because the other guy is just so bad. Um, where is the other guy now? Can't see him. Ah, there we go, Harris. He's just so bad that obviously Nolan has to take that leading spot. Let's go into it. So as I said, we won't really be able to achieve any silverware, I don't think, this season. We are still in the Carabao Cup. Uh, we won the first two rounds that we were a part of. Um, I'll show you the schedule after this match, just so we can have a look at the progress. So we're still in the Carabao Cup, but we're probably going to get kicked out soon, because the Carabao Cup is really hard for a club like ours to, to stick to. Papa John's is going well. We are... I can't remember if we're first or second of the group, but uh, we're hoping to continue to the next phase. Um, yeah, I think as far as Papa John's trophy, we might be able to get it. M might is like a um, it's a bit of a doubt, but you know, it's possible. Carabao Cup is not possible, um, but the, pa the Papa John's Cup maybe. And as I said, for the league, we're probably just going to go for a mid-table position. Maybe even barely scraping relegation, who knows. But, um, yeah, we will try not to get relegated. And I think it's completely plausible uh, that we will stay clear of the relegation spots. Also, I like this league because it only has two re relegation spots. The bottom two. Uh, so... It's a bit easier to avoid a relegation, I suppose. And as as, lo as as long as we avoid relegation, that gives us a whole year to build and to gain some cr credibility as well. 
Um, the new owners of the club, if you haven't noticed the club has been taken over, the new owners of the club haven't really invested any money. They, for a brief moment, even debated firing me as soon as they took um, took ownership of the club, but they decided not to, which was great because I'm a, and now I'm, I'm a club icon. So I'm um, number three. They've got this two more important figures than me uh, from from past. I think it's past players. I can't remember if it's past players or past managers, but yeah, I'm apparently number three in that ranking. So it would be a bit bad if they just fired me because I brought the club all the way up. So um, it wouldn't make any sense. All right, let's make some changes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Um, actually, no, I'll start again. Probably gonna want to change this around. O'Reilly for Brown and Solomana for Dolan. I'm gonna leave Sage as it is. Yeah, so here we are. And we have been taken over, and I'm still managing the club, but the finances have not been improved. We didn't we didn't get any um, incentive. I think they invested like a hundred k, which isn't anything at this level, really. Um, and they haven't really agreed to anything new. So at the moment, I'm not really sure why they've taken over, other than the fact that they probably just ca capitalize on the fact that the previous chairman retired. I think a lot of those directors are still the same directors from previously, so I'm not sure how much of a taken over it, it really is. We are losing heavily here against... Uh, is this Walsall? Losing heavily here, but we already knew that some matches would be like that. We'll take a look at the schedule in a little bit. We need to improve our squad a lot, so I'm banking on hoping to make some deals in January to help us secure some better players, especially in attack. We need some better players in attack. Defense I'm not too worried about, um, but attack we do, we do need some better players, especially on the left side. And the right side too as well, especially the left side. So we need two, two new wide target men, two new uh, inverted wingers. It's a nice goal here, lobbing the keeper. Um, the only other position I'm a little bit worried about is the right of defense, maybe. But that's only if Josh continues to be unhappy and wanting to leave. Because otherwise he's perfectly, he's perfectly good to stay, to be honest. And, and same, like, likewise with, um, center midfield. Apparently somebody's offside. Oh, come on. Really? He wasn't even involved in the goal. I suppose he was in front of the keeper, but... Yeah, so the center midfield, Adam O'Reilly, also wants to leave. But actually, if I give him enough playing time, he might stay. He's just complaining that he doesn't get enough playing time. And he's getting a lot this year. So he might stay. Okay, we lost against Wolves, so no big deal. I think we're now down to... 19th okay as long as we don't go down below to 23rd basically they want to cross that line of um, being in the bottom two spots I'm gonna have to make some more training you'll see a lot of rests I tried to use up all the rests I'll leave like a rest here and there but there's a lot of scouting going on at the moment. We're currently scouting all of the UK, uh, plus a 
couple of scouts in England and Wales as well, specifically. Right, so let's go to training. Calendar. I'm going to leave a day, an, an evening's rest, and then I'm going to go with overall training, outfield. We're going to train our crossing with wings and overlap, and also with create chance creation we're gonna um, do some goal goalkeeping specific training and we always finish with some outreach and bond team bonding I think those two are important to do from time to time okay so they haven't agreed to anything we've asked We're going to praise Sapo's song, see if he can bring the morale up. He's our team leader as well. He's not the captain, but um, I suppose he's got a lot of influence. So keeping him happy is a good idea. We have a couple of players on international duty. I think they're... Um, one of them is this guy. The other one is uh, under, under 23, I think. Yeah, in the end of 23s, maybe. Nope. Under 18s? Huh. Interesting. I thought maybe it's another senior player that I haven't spotted. Oh, maybe they're back already. Okay. Um, yeah, so there was another one, but I can't remember who, who that was. Okay, so we're going to play a team that's probably very similar to us in difficulty, in quality I should say, difficulty, I guess it's like game speech, but our goalkeeper is injured, which is a shame, but we do have um, Cammy who played with us all of last season. I'm sure he will appreciate having some input this season. And we'll try to get this game started as soon as possible. After a save. Here we go. Got another big win. 5 0. Oh, wow. Really? Chris Warren. Hmm. Interesting. How was he like as a. Hmm. to improve. Okay. We are going to play our next match. We need to get our new goalkeeper in. Um, I'm going to stick with Nigel. I'm going to have to bring back... Actually, I'm going to stick with Dance. And bring back... Shearing. Um, Horn can stay. You can stay. Adam can stay. Um, Antonia Azzi. And can stay. We're gonna have to rest you and get Harris on. Harris is appalling, but I'm hoping he will start to develop a little bit. He's got all the like the key attributes he's got. He just hasn't got everything else. You know, 13 heading, 12 bravery, nine off the ball. He's developing that. That's what I'm doing in the individual training. Actually, no, I think I'm doing strength. Actually, he's got poor strength, but uh, jumping reach is good. He needs to improve some of the other technical aspects. Definitely needs to improve his teamwork. Um, he hasn't really got the speed, but everything else. Yeah, he's, he's got some of the basics, but he's really bad. But for a backup, I think it's okay. Now, let's have a look at the bench before I forget. Um, 
Springs, Ordania back. Drop Bill Thompson out of the squad. Uh, okay. Let me just get him completely out. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I have space for one more. And it will be Leonard, another center. Back. Just in case. Because he's a essentially a full back. And he's essentially a defender midfielder, so it's nice to have a center back on the bench. Just in case when we have the space. Submit the team and let's go. We are playing away from home. Also, when we've done the staff review, we've managed to improve some of our coaching, including now. Um, so, I, like team talks and opposition instructions and media talks and all of that, uh, it's all done by the coaching team. So, I managed to get some better coaches for that. So, with coaches with good motivation. And our head of youth, who's been our head of youth for ever, um, he's got quite good tactical knowledge and stuff, so he usually does the opposition instructions and tactical advice. Um, but yeah, so we have a new coach who's doing all our team talks and media and stuff. And obviously, those coaches also have better stats in terms of coaching as well, so defense and... Uh, I think I've got a defense, defense coach, an attacking coach, and a men mental, mental training coach, if, if I remember correctly. We've had the same managers for both our youth, youth teams from the beginning, I think. The assistant manager for the other youth teams we've changed a couple of times. And I think the youth, as I said, the youth um, the head of youth has been the same forever, I think. A lot of our coaching team and, and our scouting team. Um, our physios is a different story, but like our scouting team and our training team, they've been the same for a long time. We just keep like sending them on courses, the, like the coaches, we send them on courses and stuff. And the scouts just seem to develop by themselves. I'm not sure how that really works, but they... I uh, can't really find many good ones. I've swapped like one or two of the um, scouts, but our main scouts are all the same still. Okay, we need to create more chances, which is why I'm developing that training with the over overall training, but also like specifically targeted to attacking, um, like cre um, creation of opportunities as well. So not shooting as such, but more like creating the opportunities and passing the ball around and stuff. Crossing. We're focusing on crossing for outfield players, but also reflexes um, and agility for goalkeepers. So we've done all our three subs. Um, let's see if something comes of this game. Uh, and I'd quite like to have a look at the schedule as well so I can show you our progress for the other competitions as well. We're going to get lots of losses this season, so I'm not going to be too upset about that. It's our kind of staying staying alive, surviving sort of season. So we're going to have to take some beatings sometimes. We are getting dangerously close to that dreaded 23rd place. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on it. Now, the schedule itself. We lost our first match against Bradford. Then we won on penalties against uh, Leeds and Orient. 
for the Carabao Cup. Uh, one against Morecambe. Chesterfield, we, we had a beating from them. Second round of the Carabao Cup, we again won on penalties against Wimbledon. Drew, drew against Sutton. 1-4-1. Yeah, 1-4-1 for the Papa John's trophy. I thought I had played another Papa John's game, but obviously not. Um, so I think we're second of the group. West Ham under 23s scored five against Yeovil. And now, um, these two matches that we've just done together. So yeah, we'd, we're going to take some beatings here and there. Uh, it's going to be a tough season, especially with the busy calendar that we have. We're going to have to use a lot of our youth players as well, but that's fine because we do have uh, quite good youth teams. I mean, the players aren't completely developed yet, but I guess that that's the whole point to give them some first team time and they start to develop and starting to do well. Uh, just in the last look about the routines, seven matches, six game, six wins, one draw, 19 points in total, four points clear from second place. So they're doing really well. So I guess this might be the only civil wear <laughs> that we get this year, the Andrew Teens, uh third Southwest division. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get promote, promoted. Our youth level is gonna get upgraded anytime soon. So we might be down there in the third division for quite a while before we get up to this division two South. I have some interesting teams here. But yeah, at the moment we are playing against Plymouth, Cheltenham, Shrewsbury, Exeter, Walsall, Yeovil, Bristol, Newport, Oxford, Swindon, Force Green, who are no longer our senior affiliates. We don't have a senior affiliate at the moment. Telford, Sully Hall, and Rugby. Thanks so much for watching until the end. We will uh, check in again um, just after I completed the winter transfer window. And we'll have a look at any new signings I've been able to do and just how well we're doing. If we are staying afloat or if we are digging deep into those relegation spots. Thanks so much for the support and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Patreon as well. And the links in the description. Take care. See you. Bye bye.